it was dark at home. I had almost passed out at the center earlier. I managed to make it back hoping to rest over the spot. What is those consolations that cause people to start first to get upset about having to deal with stuff like this? However, on the other hand, that also meant that she was the type to fret endlessly. My current goal was to grab some way to make her leave me alone. If I didn't, she was liable to try to spend the entire night here watching over me. I think my name is right. I knew that she was trying to help, but I couldn't, still couldn't really think straight after what had happened earlier. I probably came across as harsher than I needed. I have about maybe three weeks until the enemy starts, so we better be quiet. I heard it up. I <笑>あんまり心配されてると本当に気分がめいってくる。うん、でも今日誘ったのは私だし、なんか責任感じちゃうし。で、ちょっと頼りないし。お前さりげなく失礼だな。<笑><笑> だから。私そんなに嫌じゃないよ。え、親子会。俺、大体俺を気遣ってるなら、不毛なやりとりに付き合わせるなよ。ただでさえ明日から学校行くのが大きくなのに。あ、そうだった。ダメだよね。サボって
say he suddenly got urged to play me in a fight. How stupid they get. Ne, nani o tochikurutta ka. Omae mo maneshita nda yo na. Go teene ni. Oh. あ、じゃあ、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私、私
Principal Nave belong them. They are incapable of cherishing their fellow men without force and thus to believe that all others operate on the same laws of spirit as them. Such fools will be better off conversing with the mirror. You will no doubt find the next story unpleasant, but I trust that your soul is not tainted enough to intimidate the fuller of a lesson. In this world, there are six being long beings of utmost purity. Yes, I speak of her. Search the type of universe and each you should find no peer. From the moment of her birth, she was complete. She did not and would never receive even the various might of influence from the vulgar outside world. The scar and neck knit ever flagrant. Her words pregnant only with heck. Pray to me, forlorn, doomed to never be loved. Even as is an existence such as mine could not compete with being as miraculously and magical as her. For the first time I laid eyes upon true beauty. I clutched a hand to my chest, overcome by the nature of her being. Ah, uh, how mournful was man to bring forth something so spectacular by mutual. I knew immediately on some primal level that hers was not the state of beings that others could hope to aspire for, or aspire to. One could devote his life to unravel the mystery of dusty grimoires and never so much as set foot upon a mystic plane that was her domain. Dominion. So hard. She was absolute in her otherness. I must confess, I found myself envious of her. I should you scoff at the very notion of force. I could say that meeting her was an ordeal true moment of brilliance to be found amongst the principal ordeal of my life. Oh my gosh, I know why it represents the lost part. The defeat has never tasted sweeter. What is this? Like, what the heck? I finally discovered this. That's wasteful. I should devote my very best wing to close to salvation. That shall be my offer. The day of race that shall render thunder the cursed ghetto that is the universe. Come now. It's time to explain the stage that there are truths to Take your hand, leave her in hand. I would like nothing more than death. What is this? Suddenly, I heard the sound of waves crash against the door. I found myself standing on a mysterious beach, bathed in the crimson hue of dust. This was a place far removed from the protected river of the sea. I could hear nothing but a quiet and murmur of waves, and a sporadic chirping of birds somewhere. The scenery around me possessed a fleeting beauty, one brought about by the of sun as I melted into counter on the distant sea. This was the sort of sight that would normally vanish, but somehow I knew that here it would be persistent eternally. This was the moment frozen time. After the sun had rebuked, I had already sunk beyond the horizon, but the remaining half would never budge. The waves continued to roll and now were purely governed by something other than a tidal force I was familiar with. Suddenly I understood this was a there wasn't a beach like this anywhere near Sewer House itself. It didn't really look like so much. I set foot on a foreign soil, set foot on triple plane far removed from the present. It was seen that I understood the nature of this place on an instinctual level. By all means, I should have felt some sense of bewilderment being confronted with so surreal a scene, but simply found myself captivated by it. There was a certain nostalgic atmosphere about the place that spoke. No, maybe what really drew me was a sense of stagnation. This was the world of frozen time, but that's the beauty of an everlasting sunset. The very concept of the flow of time was meaningless to me. An eternal twilight decorated by a sun that would never dip below the horizon. This world exists on the border of day and night. Its very existence, a precursor to revere fallen between the cracks of reality. I felt truly at the within the concrete moment. I sat down on the beach, absolutely staring out at the sea and listening to the waves. I found myself 
overpowered the silly sense of deja vu. Even that I had never laid eyes on this place before, it was like I was already deeply familiar with it. Obviously, this was all just a dream, but it was pleasant the feeling of another, another life. Knowing what you're dealing with in advance means you can't handle anything if I show you your way. For knowledge, it makes it possible to avoid dangerous situations and prolong pleasant ones. To make better, more meaningful decisions. What could bring up a greater sense of peace? Yes, my ideal world was knowing everyone every going around in circles until the day you die. Was that your heart's desire? He cut across my line of vision at nearly the exact same time as I turned around. For the first time, I knew it would have been highly breath. The word that made the king's mind was meant to be so that they were so accustomed to our speech and what I was. She was out in a shabby, worn out dress. No one could call her attire elegant, but on her exquisite radiance, a woman on high society never hoped to change with even their more extravagant formal wear. Her long hair ending today in auburn aura, lit up by a dull red glow of the sting sun as she danced around the west end of the beach. The stark white ankles peeking out from the hem of her dress offered a sharp contrast to the warm colors of the world around her. She turned to face me, emerald eyes gleaming with gentle light. I couldn't take my eyes off of her. It was like a gemstone, an empty human form. As I stared, she began to sing, goes to smile, playing across her. I could only get myself unto her song, unto the sweet faith brought forth by her heavenly voice. The words tell la fin de la condition suddenly flashed through my head. I didn't know what those words or why they came. Now, her song was a melody unfamiliar to me. However, I felt in that it was some form of prayer. Perhaps a hymen, unbeknownst to all but her. The girl before me was utterly pure, removed from our baseball. How could the melody come filling forth from the lips of being so immaculate be anything but a prayer? Was it possible to listen to a song you had never heard before within a dream? I didn't know, but there was no sense of pride in such questions. She was beautiful, plain, and simple. That was enough to marry without seeing. Something felt vaguely out of place. Was I overlooking something important? The stream of emotions that had filled up to the point of the stall, this the clear head, lived over some against the form of unintelligible sense, had been a fool. Throughout Japan's history, twilight, the shoreline of the day and night, had been regarded as a time when the foreground was natural and supernatural truth. Twilight was when the inhumane walked among the lips. All along, this girl had been. She continues to sing the same flaws ever adorned her features. Her emerald eyes were as clear as the surface of the pristine lake without a trend of melodies found, which is precisely why the scene before me was so horrifying. She possessed childlike innocence in dark contrast to the other profanity of her first song. <laughs> The sun reverted inside my head, splitting itself into seemingly endless echoes. As I stared at her, I caught a hook of the crimson band around her neck through her just have hair, unmistakably the work of a guillotine blade. <laughs> this was the same girl I had met in the museum, the first girl who had met her end by the guillotine. But I found the light for attention, or as I expect, were you going to call it? Damn. 
Oh, it's followed by a sudden brutal impact, as if I had been hit by, hit by someone. Hit by a se- What? My vision went black. In the next moment... Oh, I found myself in the midst of the trip from the crowd, gathering around Gallo's set up in a sense of plaza. A point of sheer delirium, fueled by fear and hatred and dark elation, consumed everything. The sneer about me, low more than in chaos, but definitely force filled my fears. The books, la song, 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 and song. Blood, 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 and one's blood. Bonus last song to go shower the gun to with drink. Oh shoot, is she, it's a song that we just listened to. Four growing lights, the chest they like good. May the guillotine stairs be quenched. Get back the song, 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 a song. Boy, and want blood, blood, blood. The friendly crowd was singing the same song that I had heard only moments earlier. Back in the time period where public speeches like this were commonplace. It must have been the time they offered for the guillotine. The elite, the clergy, and the common man come together, all for the simple purpose of him, turn us to capture before the eyes, to see my head fly off of my shoulder. That's right, that's right. But the colonel scratched the guillotine was not other than myself. Next week, some sort of official falling out to the crowd, speaking like they recognized his French. It was seen he was a free of volunteer to act as the execution. It wasn't long before a man emerged to the crowd. He released the ghost of flame and my head. Tumbled to the ground, bathed in the square chunk of the eternal chest. My spine was severed and flame kicked to us. My ability to feel pain had been lost along with the connection between my brain and the rest of my body. I could do nothing but stare up at the headless body at the huge Force blood. Ah, my heart was still beating. I wanted nothing more than to extend a hand to my body, but that was impossible now. <laughs> All I could do was lie on the ground, listen to that bomb of the brain. That's how the dream ends. Now I'm gonna probably. <gasps> Yeah, I will have a nightmare too with this. I joined out of bed, only to find out it was really light up. My body reached before my body. That was the first thing that was left my body. Yeah, I can't do guillotines. They freak me out so much. I slumped down. Three more nights that experience was no last matter. It was just a bad taste of all else. I wasn't very happy back that Cassie was stuck into my room like this on a daily basis. I just seen the whole thing. I wouldn't have been released from the hospital and made it full recovery. So the screen had nothing to do with my end. So it was nice that Cassie was so worried about me. But if I didn't make things clear now, she'd end up driving us both to the point. デリケートなんだよ、俺は。枕が変わってうまく寝付けなかっただけ。あと、人の寝顔をジロジロ見てる変態がいたせいだな。うなされてたのは。ま、それ私のこと。えへへへ。他に一体誰がいると？うわ、
上司はその辺感謝して多少の約束をくれたっていいじゃないの約束おいしいごやんばレンの寝顔かわいいんだなこれが Hey don't call my face cute 起きたらこなまえきなんだけどね I guess it is the cousin wrapping her in a blanket throw her out the window Murder? Watch? So many things are going on. In any case, I'll use the kitchen to use the kitchen. So, let's do it. Hi! I'm a little bit of a kid. 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 I really needed to look into closing up that hole in the wall. That's the end of her morning and it's had done a good job. Hopefully we can get about that whole week. I was grateful for that at least. I was currently 720. As I sat at the table about to get started at the rice grilled fish miso soup that she had made. Truly a Japanese breakfast by everyone. I was about 30 minutes from a bump to pop up to the school, so right now we can force spend 10 minutes in 10 minutes playing up with 10 minutes getting ready. Kazumi took a sip of tea, washing down the breast that had been stuck in her mouth. Has anyone taught, ever taught this girl the first thing about manners? The very serve that had been covered in blood and dust in addition to being ripped up all over. Her uniforms were made from white cloth, so what have been punched in the cleaning そういうだろうと思って注文もしといたけど、なんか少し時間がかかるって言われたから、新品が来るまでちょっと見とまないけど、これで我慢しなさいね。Uh, Kasumi cook is more or less edible. Her sewer skills left a lot to be desired. Kasumi まあ、こうしてもいいかお前それ二人で分けるんじゃないのかよ何一人で丸ごと捉えしてるんだ仲間しいわねあたりは絶対やらないこれうちのお母さんがくれたんだからねえそうしげんにくれんあへっちゃう
現在のところ通り魔的なものであるとの見解がなされておりそれというのも被害者の警部が切断されるという情報であることから狂気の断定はまだできていないとのことですがおそらくは鋭利な刃物日本刀もしくはそれに類する刃渡り6 0センチ以上の刀剣であるという説が有力視されていますなお被害者の男性は諏訪原氏の会社員生野健二さん24歳であり死因は警部の切断によるなんか。